are you doing? It's late. It's 3 a.m. You do realize you have to be up at exactly 600 hours in the morning. Nine, there are no buts. Nine, if you can't plan ahead better than that, I can't help you. You will be up at that time unless you are sick and otherwise incapable of getting up. Can't you fuss in Italia? What? What? Nine. Nine, I didn't mean it like that. I stood me light. But what? What are you doing? Are you making pasta? You've been spending far too much time with Italia. He does make pasta at God knows what hours of the night, but that is also why I gave up on training him a long time ago. What is the point? What, what do you mean is the point? What if aliens come from another planet and try to take all the individuality and color from the world? Then what would you do if you're not trained? Just stand around or run away like Italia? Or you could be like his brother and just complain about it till someone fixed it. Did you know he doesn't even like potatoes? It's disgraceful. He will not be strong. You can't get strong from eating nothing but pasta, no matter how delicious it is. But you shouldn't eat pasta at such a late hour. You won't have time to digest it before the morning. Nine, you don't digest in your sleep like that. It just sits there till you wake up. Is that where you won't get a good night's rest? Your body can't rest if it's trying to digest food. And besides, if you want a late night snack, it shouldn't be pasta. It should be something else, like, um, I don't know, a potato. Okay, not a potato. That is actually not a good idea either. I don't know what you would get. I guess fruit. Or maybe something small. Not a five-course dinner. You're blaming this on jet lag? I mean... I suppose jet lag is a bit more difficult for normal humans to adjust to, but... Staying up till 3am making pasta is not going to make it go away faster, it's just going to make it worse. I know. Nine, don't think this is going to get you out of training in the morning. Although I might go a bit easier on you, since you won't get enough sleep, if any. Hmm? Well, he stays in his room. Gilbert has his own schedule, although he does work out a lot more than people think he does. He actually keeps a fairly strict schedule as well, but it doesn't coincide with mine all the time, so I don't worry about him. Besides, he taught me everything I do anyway, so... He's an adult, he can take care of himself. But I know, I know, I didn't mean like that. Sorry. Well, yes, he does stay in his room a lot of the time. Lonely? I... I don't know, I suppose maybe a little. If he is lonely, he's very good at hiding it. Yeah, I, I do worry about him sometimes. But there's only so much I can do for him. I am starting to worry about him. 
at some point, uh, a few months ago, he actually got bitten by one of the dogs. And it took a, a while to heal. A while longer than it should have. Well, I suppose I could give him more work, but he won't do it. Probably. I could try. I could ask him. Fuss? Make it seem like it's his idea? You know, that could actually work. If he thinks it's his idea, then he'll probably do it. Yeah. With that I could do, I'll have him be more inclusive. I suppose that could work. I have to try that. You're willing to help? Well, I mean, if it's not too much trouble, I won't turn you down. Boss? Um, I suppose we could. I'm not sure Gilbert would. We can cook, but for me it's uh, more of a mess and it's worse. And Prussia is just lazy sometimes, so he doesn't cook as often as he should. Um, but I suppose if you really want to, we could make something tomorrow. That is, if any of us get enough sleep. At this point, we're all going to pass out at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, just like Italian. Speaking of Italia, he's actually going to be here in a couple of days. Him and his brother, they're both coming over. I don't know why he insists on bringing Romano. He doesn't seem to like it here, so... I don't know why he keeps pestering him to coming. I personally don't mind him that much, but he definitely seems to mind me, so... I try to avoid him. Prussia likes to mess with him, though. They both tend to either argue with each other most of the time, or pair up with each other against me. So, it's never a good combination. It's either suspicious or explosive. But we always end up with some delicious leftover food after they leave, so I'm not going to say no. And Italia is my friend, so I don't mind seeing him. You're welcome to stay, if you want to. I don't know how long you are planning on staying. <sighs> Nine. We can't skip the training. Even if we don't do it at 6 a.m., we're still going to do it, so it's better to just get it over this. What do you mean, what if I sleep through? I'm not going to sleep through till 6 a.m. I did sleep a little, it's just you're very noisy when you make food, so it woke me up. If anything, we could start now. Only you're eating, so that's probably not a good idea. What did you make, anyway? I know that's pasta, but what's on it? Ah, that explains a lot. That, that reminds me of what um, Italia used to do when he would come over, before he started bringing his own food. Sometimes he'll go to the store and buy some food before coming here. He used to try and make Italian dishes with German ingredients, and it was always interesting. It wasn't ever bad, but it was always not what either of us expected. It was also around that time that both of us discovered that Alfredo and sauerkraut does not go together. It had some sort of chemical reaction, and it started separating. It, it was not 
appetizing at all. It's making me nauseated just thinking about it. Prussia actually thought that we should send it to England, but then we all decided that the repercussions of such an activity would not end well. It was not worth it. So we just threw it away. And then we went and got fast food because we were all tired. Speaking of tired, you still look very tired. Are you sure this is about jet lag? Oh, I see. Well, I don't really have that problem, but Italia does. Sometimes he gets anxious, especially at night. It seems to get worse at night. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because we're tired and our bodies are trying to go to sleep that you end up more stressed than in the day. But sometimes you get so stressed that he can't sleep for long periods of time. Sometimes he stays up all night, sometimes he only stays up for a couple of hours. It depends on the severity of the stress. Actually, I think Romano also suffers from the same thing. I sometimes would find uh, I would come in here late at night and he would be doing something down here. And he'd look at me and glare at me. So I wouldn't say anything, I'd just go back to bed. But I think that maybe he also has anxiety problems. And it seems to happen a lot more with him, so like whenever they come over Romano always seems to be the one that has trouble sleeping. Except during the day, apparently, he just passes out forever. It hits three o'clock and he's, he's completely out. Same for Italia. Hmm? Prussia? He... I don't think he has anxiety like that, no. He is much like I am. We have a strict schedule, even now. He wakes up at about 5.45 in the morning, every day. And he always goes to bed at the same time. You really should try to get some sleep, so. Neither of us can really relate, I don't think, but I understand that it seems to be a more common problem than people might think. Listen, if you're really that stressed, and that is why you can't sleep, um, I understand. I, perhaps, I could be a little bit more lenient on the training regimen tomorrow. But you'll have to pick up the slack on the next day. All right. I need to get to bed, unless you want me to stay. I'm not sure how much help I would be. I don't understand what you're going through at all. I could call Italia, perhaps he could help. You'll be okay? Well, um, gute Nacht, I guess. You're welcome to use the television if you don't plan on getting any sleep tonight. Also, I would insist that you try. There are also some movies uh, under the, the television in the cabinet. On the left, don't go to the right cabinet. Uh, it's not important. Alright. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go to the left cabinet and take out what is in there. It's not that I don't trust you, it's that I don't trust Prussia to show you. So, to, yeah. I'm just going to take some. <laughs>